Welcome to Imagination Station. I'm Solara from Incredible Oceans and today we're gonna learn how to make a jellyfish out of plastic bags. I wanna talk to you about turtles and why plastic bags are a big problem for them. The bags we get when we go shopping can sometimes end up in the ocean. An estimated 300 million plastic bags a year end up in the Atlantic Ocean alone. This is really bad because when they float around, turtles and other sea creatures often mistake them for jellyfish. We might think it's obvious that they're not, but to a turtle, they look just as tasty. I don't want to eat that. I can kind of see how if that was in the water floating along, it might look like a jellyfish. I'd probably scream and then everyone would laugh at me, but that's fine. So what can we do to help? We can take our own reusable bags when we go shopping, but we also know that we have loads of plastic bags just lying around the house, probably hiding up in the cupboards, tucked away behind the fridge. Now what can we do about those bags? So today I want to show you how you can make your very own jellyfish out of plastic bags. Like this one right here. Here's one I made earlier. Pretty cool, huh? This way you get to keep the bags, decorate your room with it, and they won't end up in the ocean. So a couple of things just before we start. You need to make sure that you have an adult with you. And because we're using plastic bags and scissors, you definitely wanna make sure that any pets or small children are completely supervised. There are only five steps in making our jellyfish. Whenever you see the pause sign or hear the ding, you can choose to pause the video and complete that step in your own time. Okay, I think that is everything. What do you think, Mr. Jellyfish? <laughs> Let's get to it. Firstly, you'll need to gather all your materials. To make one jellyfish, you'll need plenty of plastic bags. It's good to have about four different colors. I'm using blue, green, white, and pink. Tin foil, sellotape, scissors, needle and thread, and finally, if you want to add extra decoration to your jellyfish, you could use beads, bottle caps, stickers. Here you can see I have some colorful yarn. If you want, you can pause the video now and collect your materials and then we'll move on to step one. Step one, cutting strips. Firstly, we are going to make our jellyfish tentacles. I'm going to use four plastic bags, one in each color. Also make sure you have a fifth bag for its head. Cut down both sides of the bag and cut the handles off, but leave the bottom of the bag uncut. Then start cutting your bag into strips. And repeat with each colour. Step two, make tin foil ring. Next, we'll make a ring that we'll use to hang the tentacles from. You'll need a sheet of foil. Keep folding it in half again and again until it's a long strip, which you then want to roll in your hands until it becomes a thin sausage. You want the ring to be about the size of a loose bracelet. You can connect the ends by twisting them together. Step three, attach tentacles to ring. Now it's time to attach the tentacles onto the foil ring. Take one of your plastic strips, fold it in half, make a loop, place on top of the ring, then pull the end from the other side through the loop and continue with all your colours. You can decide how many tentacles you want your jellyfish to have. I've done enough to fill the ring. And now would be the time to add the colourful yarn. Mm -hmm. 
Step 4. Make jellyfish head. Now it's time to make the jellyfish head. You'll need one coloured bag which you will fill with other bags. Any scrap pieces of plastic can also be used for the filling. You can be creative with what you fill it with. Old clothes, single use plastic, paper or packaging. It's really great to reuse all these things we usually throw away. Make sure it's packed down really tight and you want to shape it almost like a mushroom. If you're not sure how big to make it, bring in your tentacles and see if they look good together. Now tie a knot to keep it secure. And with these end bits, you can cut into them to make more tentacles. Step five, attach tentacles to head. Yay, we're nearly there. Now it's time to attach the tentacles to the head. I'm going to use sellotape, but you could also use glue or a needle and thread. Turn your jellyfish head upside down and place your ring of tentacles on top. You can see here that I have some already cut pieces of sellotape, which is very helpful. All you need to do is go around the ring with the tape to secure it. And finally, use a needle and thread so you can hang up your jellyfish. So you can make it swing and swim and fly. And there you have it, your very own jellyfish. Here's one I made earlier. I used some colourful yarn and tin ring pulls to make it jingle. And now they can play together! jellyfish that's amazing they look so cool and he's got a friend make as many as you like decorate your room make them dance make them play put on a puppet show and you can hang it up in your bedroom or any room that you'd like to add some ocean magic to and remember when you're done enjoying your jellyfish if you want to throw it away just make sure to cut it up into lots and lots of pieces so that a turtle doesn't mistake it for a real jellyfish I mean, look at this, I'm just, I'm pro. Oh no, they're going, oh no, I don't know. They're, they're out of control, somebody help. Ah! Right, I'm off to go swimming with the turtles. Thanks for watching guys. 